Illegal gangsters, this is Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officer. I'm not sure if you all remember, but back in July, as a matter of fact, July the 11th, let's be specific, let's make sure that that's the correct date. Let me go back one time. Yeah, here it is right here. July the 11th. On July the 11th, this young lady, Mariah Holmes, was sleeping in her car with her baby girl, a toddler, and their pet. And a constable from Precinct 4 arrested her. She made it clear to him that she was homeless and she didn't have anywhere else to be, but she was still arrested. Now, this was a hot summer night, July 11, 2023. One of the biggest things with me as a former police officer, it is extremely important for, important for officers at all times to show humanity, to show humanness, and to be able to assist people wherever they can. You know, um, they tell us as officers, don't call out other officers, but I always say this could have been handled differently. Nonetheless, let's move forward. Both of these charges, initial charges, July the 11th, and this one, July the 11th, one of them was cruelty, none livestock animal. And the second one was in abandonment, endangering a child. This one was a misdemeanor. This one a felony. Okay. It was said initially that the charges were dismissed. They were not. We're going to go in. We're going to look at it. First thing I would like you all to do is come with me and let's again, just to revisit it real quick. Let's look at the charging instrument. I don't want to look at that one yet. Let's look at the information. And this gives details on exactly what happened. Okay, this one is the cruelty to non-livestock animal. Okay. The name and by the authority of the state of Texas comes now the undersigned assistant district attorney of Harris County, Texas, in behalf of the state of Texas and presents and to the Harris County County Criminal Court at Law Number One of Harris County, Texas, that in Harris County, Texas, Mariah LaShawn Holmes, hereafter styled the defendant, heretofore on or about July 11, 2023, did then and there unlawfully, intentionally, and recklessly, in a cruel manner, confine an animal, namely one canine, by confining the animal in a closed vehicle without ventilation, air conditioning, or water for an extended period of time when the outside ambient temperature was approximately 90 degrees and the defendant's conduct was not in a generally accept accepted and lawful form of conduct, occurringly, occurring solely for the purpose of or in support of fishing, hunting, trapping. Okay, we don't have to go through all of that. But when he pulled up on her that night, and this was news here in Harris County, when he pulled up on her, it was evident that she was homeless. She told him she was homeless, and it was her, her little girl, and their pet, and they were sleeping in the car. So this was not done with ill intention, but nonetheless, again, she was still arrested and taken into custody. Okay, you all see these were different resets all the way from July. From that time, um, she was eventually let out the next day, all the way up until September. September the 26th, I'm happy to say, well, September the 21st, I am happy to say that on this charge, the grand jury no billed her. Okay, this cruelty, non livestock animal. Turn, return the grand jury. The grand jury failed to find an indictment, and on this day returned a no bill. 
So she received victory in this, even though she had to go through what she had to go through. And I'm so sorry she did, but she did get victory in this case. Okay. Let's go to the second one. This was the cruelty to the animal. The next charge was the endanger, abandoning and endangering a child, which was a felony, which again, you all just hear me say what the situation was. I'm gonna go to images. Let's go down to the image. Look at the charging instrument on it. Before me, the undersigned assistant district attorney of Harris County, Texas, this day appeared to undersigned a client who under oath says that he has good reason to believe and does believe that in Harris County, Mariah Holmes, here and after style, the defendant on July the 11th, did there unlawfully, intentionally, knowingly, recklessly, and with criminal negligence engage in the conduct that plays CM a child younger than 15 years of age, and here and after called the implanted in imminent danger of bodily injury or death, namely by confining a child in a closed vehicle without ventilation or air conditioning. Okay, again, this was July the 11th. It was extremely hot night in Houston, Texas. No one with any common sense would not have any type of way to ventilate a vehicle. Again, maybe she didn't have the car running with air conditioning, but she did have a window open to be able to receive air into the vehicle as much as you can as a homeless woman on a hot summer night in Houston, Texas. This offense too. Was, I want you all to see this, no build on September the 21st. The grand jury failed to find an indictment and on this day returned a no bill. So again, she won in both of the situations. I'm sorry that um, Harris County Constable Precinct Number Four, Deputy, you know, didn't use better judgment not to even have her in this situation at all. But she went through this and I pray that everything is good for her from this point forward, because I know because of this situation, great people have entered her life and have been able to assist her. Um, I don't know Mariah, but I will be willing if anyone knows her and if anyone could pass my information on to her to assist her with expunging these charges from her criminal record. Because now she officially has a criminal record here in Harris County because of this situation. So if anyone knows her, please tag her for me and I will love to do this for her. Um, and at no charge no charge at all. And that's it. And I'm grateful that everything worked out. All right. I said I would do a follow-up on this case and here it is. Here's the follow-up and we can officially close this out. God bless you all. Thank you all for taking time to listen. And as I always say to you all, take care of one another, love on one another and let's continue to make our city the great city that it is. Again, legal gangsters, beautiful people. This is Sean Lacey, a.k.a. Ms. Officer, signing out. Bye-bye.